So here we have it, the Space Kraken. Just look at the beautiful, beautiful body of this plane. Just love the shapes of it. Um, these big fins in the middle and the little ones here. It just looks so aggressive, so futuristic. Um, and then there's this little tab that you can use to hold it, but otherwise it's just one big wing with a lot of fins of, on it. Yeah, just really like the way it looks. Uh, I would love it even if it couldn't fly, but uh, fortunately it can fly and I would say it flies reasonably well. Hi, for this plane I will be using a sheet of A4 paper and then um, optionally you can also use a paper clip. Um, this isn't required, but it will make the plane fly uh, a bit better. But it still flies fine without. It just makes it a bit easier to tune, a bit more stable. So it's up to you if you want to use it or not. And we will start by folding the paper in half this way, horizontally. Which is, as we all know, the best way to start folding a paper plane. Then we will fold um, the closed corner towards the open side, like this. and try to be as precise as possible. I'm just going to inverse this crease. Uh, you don't have to, but uh, makes it a bit easier because now we are going to perform a squash fold on this flap. And try to make sure this edge is aligned with the crease behind it. Like so, and just take your time to align this crease as well. Just try to be really precise here. Then we are going to stand up this flip and perform uh, another kind of squash fold. And this this base, I don't know if it exists already, but it's based on, um, on the folding sequence I saw in a video from a YouTuber called Used Alex, but only this time I'm doing it horizontally instead of vertically, so it looks a bit different, but it's the same base, so I will also put a link in the description to give him credit. So then you see where this flat meets, and um, so we flattened it. Um, it's important to try to have both sides here the same, so it's that this flap lands right above the corner, so it doesn't align perfectly, but that's normal. So then what you're going to do is uh, fold this over along this line. So it should look something like this. And these corners are a bit messy, but that's normal. So don't worry about it. Just try to have them the same on both sides. Next, we're going to flip over the paper. And then fold this edge towards the center. You want to align it with this. So not with the, this center line, but uh, like with this flap, because it's usually slightly open. So just lay it on there. Then we're going to fold over that crease. Now what you want to do is um, do the same folds, but uh, inside this flap. So this time we don't take this along, but we fold it inside there, like this. You see this isn't folded with the... And then just roll it over once more. And then we have a nice wing shape. And we do the same on the other side as well, like this. Once more, open it up, fold inside behind the flap and roll it once more, like this. Uh, then what we're going to do is take this tip, this corner, and fold it towards the middle and land it right on this point. We do the same on the other side. And then um, we're going to flip over the paper. Um, but the part we're working on is a bit small to see, so I'm going to use a bigger version that I prepared. So it will be A4 uh, for you, but I just made this massive version so you can more clearly see what I'm doing. So take one side, pull on this in this pocket, wrap it around this edge and flatten like so. And then just fold it this way. Do the same on the other side, so pull on this pocket, pull it that way, wrap it around this edge and then put it this way. And then you have these two flaps. What you want to do is take both, 
fold them towards the same side to the center crease. Then you're going to open this up again and you want to fold just uh, the inner one towards the center crease again but this time you're going to open this pocket as you do so. So something like that. And that gives uh, you a little spot to tuck the front of the other flap into. So you just fold this one around the previous one, like so. And then you can close it up using this layer and that will keep it locked together. And then you put it all over to the other side, like so. Flatten it, then fold this uh, corner in on itself, like so. And then you can just pull it up. And if you want to use a paper clip, you just snap it on here, on this part. Then we're going to flip over the paper again. So what we we'll want to do first is uh, just fold the wings up a bit over this edge. So make a crease like so. That will give the, the wings some uh, anhedral or dihedral angle. I'm not sure which one, but uh, just makes the wings go up a little. Uh, next up we're going to make these fins. So you want to pull from this point here at the front towards this one on at the back. So it's slightly different than the fold we already have, but not by much. So just lay it like that and fold so. Pull on the other side as well, like so. Then we're going to make the wing tips. Just fold them so that this edge lands on this layer like this. Do the same on the other side as well. And then for the tail, what you want to do is fold from this point here, where it, where it intersects this layer, towards this point. Lay it on there, like so. And then we're going to fold to that previous crease to help it, like this. We do the same on the other side as well. Like so. And then we are almost finished. Uh, so all you need to do now is um, Put all the angles right. So you want to open this up, make sure it's uh, straight. Then put this out, make sure the wing angles are up a little. Try to get these uh, to stand up straight. Um, and to tune the plane, um, it's a bit tricky to do because it's uh, very touchy so and not very stable. So what you want to do basically uh, you can add rudder here on the back of these tails, like so. If you need even more, you can add more rudder on these fins, but uh, I think these are a bit more effective. Um, also, you probably want to add down elevator, and you do this next night, uh, right next to these fins. You just uh, make a little pinch, like so, downwards. And if you need more up elevator, you just pull it out a little. You will never need any real up elevator, so just uh, use less down elevator and if you want extra stability and you have a paper clip um, what you can do is clip it on here on this little pad that you use to hold it and that will give it some extra stability so i hope you like this plane um, it's a bit more complex than what i usually make it doesn't really fly all that well but it flies okay i think I just think it really looks cool so uh, that's why i designed it Thank you for watching and have fun.